morning. I am getting ready. I'm getting my coffee right now. I'm tired. Um, it stormed really crazy last night. There was lightning and it was lighting up the bathroom and our bedroom and it was crazy. There was tons of thunder and so the boys are just starting to get up and I still have to finish getting ready but we are actually, we have a full day of running today. This is the countdown to Timothy goes back to school Monday. So this is it. We got stuff we got to do. They need their hair cut. I need to go grab some things. So that's what we're doing today. This week, um, they've been dealing a lot with student loans. I don't know why student loan is every session it seems like just about every session they really have to battle <laughs> with student loans to get them ready to be able to go get their books and stuff like that so that's where we're at with that Justin looked and he finally has his money to be able to go get his book so we got to do that this week coming up I know the lighting is yellow in here I can't help it <laughs> I don't know why but another thing that we have to do this week and weekend actually what we're doing and you're involved in all of this we are looking for justin for a car and we are cutting it close because he starts in let me see this next week is his last week so he starts soon so we're cutting it kind of close but we haven't been able to find anything it's been tough in our price range and i just remembered i gotta go put in my grocery order online real quick too because we have to pick that up i think we're gonna do that Sunday because we're planning on being gone Saturday looking for the car. I don't know. It's kind of like, you know, you just, you got all this stuff going on and I'm sure your life is the exact same way. I mean, with school starting, that alone is insane. But right now, for whatever reason, I feel like it's just like a whirlwind, like a tornado, just, you know, it's just like, oh my goodness. So yeah, buckle up. You're in for a ride too. Okay, it is about 20 after 11. I wanted to leave here by 11, but I was having some issues. And so we're leaving a little bit late, but that's okay. We're actually going to start off with grabbing lunch. Something cheap. We're just going to go to Taco Bell is what we're going to do. So, yeah. I couldn't find here. I'll share it with you what was going on. <laughs> I could not find my um holder that holds the phone for my car and it sticks onto my windshield and i always keep it in my middle compartment and me and justin and tim we were searching everywhere for it and i was getting so frustrated and i wrote jason and i was like do you know where no no and he's naming all these things and we found it on his workbench in his garage and he has no idea how it got there Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Seriously. I'm like, who, other than you, who would have put that on your workbench in your garage? Just saying. Do you guys do that with your husbands, with your spouses? Let me know. Comments. <laughs> Aggravation. <laughs> the boys just went in and they are getting their hair cut. And we're hoping they're not going to be in there too overly long because it is noon. So it's kind of like a hit and miss with noon. People can come on their lunch break and it can be crazy in there or maybe hopefully because school's in here now, maybe it won't be that bad. So I'm hoping. Justin said it looked empty when he went in. So, but that's what I'm doing. I'm waiting for them to get their hair cut and then we are off again to do more running. I'm trying to map it out. Do you do that? Like I map out like I start on one end of town and then I map out how to get back toward the house of everywhere that I have to go. So like then I'll go post office, you know, work my way into like Walmart and all that. Do you do that? I have to map it out in my head or I am so confused. <laughs> and then that way I'm not like way out on one side of town, way over here, way back, way over here. Okay, we're gonna tell you this, but you guys, you cannot tell Jason. <laughs> he watches. 
Well, okay. <laughs> Jason, if you're watching, don't watch. <laughs> Fuck off right here. Okay. Okay, see? They're eating. Oh my goodness. All right. We were in Barnes and Noble and we're checking out and the boys saw um, Harry Potter candy. And I was like, well, how much are they? And the lady scanned them and they're like three, what were they? Three seventy-five? Something like that. Yeah. Almost four dollars for Harry Potter candy. And I was like, oh my goodness. And, and Justin look, turns and looks at Tim and he goes, do you want? Mm -hmm, are, mm -hmm. You said, do you want them? Do you want them? And I looked okay. at Tim I said, do you want one? And Tim said, sure. So I put them up. With my stuff. With her stuff. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> I thought you were, you guys were buying them and they put them on my stuff. And the poor girl, she's like, going to scan, not scanning. Going to scan, not scanning. And I was like, no, just go ahead. Oh my goodness. Four, that was almost eight dollars in oh, chocolate. Cool. What'd you get? Oh. We got the trading cards. Yeah, the trading cards. Like the movies. Yeah. There's one. What did you get? Someone? I think his name is, what is it? No? Godric Gryffindor? Godric Gryffindor. One? And then that one is Rowena Ravenclaw. Something like that. What did, what did you get? Yeah. Different ones? No, uh, that, was, no those, that was both of them. Oh, I gave Timmy okay. mine. He collects them. So in case you're not familiar with Harry Potter, there's Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Hufflepuff. Uh, Godric Gryffindor, he was the founder of Gryffindor, and Rowena Ravenclaw was the founder of Ravenclaw. And then Justin got a Neville, well, okay, I bought it, but he's going to pay me back. It's a Neville, Justin, it's a <laughs> Neville Longbottom? Yeah. That's his last name. Longbottom. <laughs> yeah, that's his last name. Cool. The only true hero in Harry Potter. Oh, let me show him what we got Dad real quick, too. If you watch Super Troopers, this is, what is it, Farba. Farba from Super Troopers. He's going to put it in his office. Can I have a liter of cola? <laughs> <laughs> meow. Was he the one that did the meow? No, it was no, the other two that did no, the meow. No, he was Just the one who was like... Um, Don't give up away anything in case nobody's watched no, it. The original? Yeah. Oh. oh. So good. Okay. It's naughty, though. <laughs> you can't... <laughs> Go okay, wait. Like, he I'm just said something he's not supposed to do, and if you know Super Troopers, I blocked it out because he's naughty. You don't say and stuff like that. The, the exact quote is, "I'll give or um, I bet five bucks will come." Okay, they're both saying it. I have cut those out. You know, if you've watched it, you know what they're saying. That's why it's all clipped right here. Knock they're that being off naughty. right now. <laughs> okay. Tonight for dinner, I decided to just swing by Papa Murphy's and grab some pizza. It's just easier that way. Even if I still have to cook it, it's already all prepared and done for me, basically. So this one, um, this one's a custom one. It's Canadian bacon, chicken, and bacon. And then underneath, let's see. Jason asked for a New York pepperoni pizza. So that is what we're going to have tonight. I am looking very forward to it. Good morning. Today the four of us are headed to Lubbock to look for Justin a car. So we are really, really, really hoping that we find a car today. Um, we have our eye on a few, right? Yes. We got a couple of, no, one's a 2012 Nissan Altima with 80,000 miles for like a really good price. So hopefully. Yeah, and we also have been looking them up like on Consumer Report. We love that. When you find a car, you look it up on Consumer Report and it will give you all the stats of it. And yeah, but to be able to do that, if you don't want to get it to, for a full year subscription, it's $35 one time, or you can get it for $8 a month, renewable. So this time I just did the $8 a month because I knew it was going to be fairly quick when we bought. But, so, but if you do, they tell you Consumer Satisfaction and uh, reliability, and they race base it on a one to five scale. So, hopefully, we find one. <laughs> That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, we just left the first. It's it was just like a little car lot, nothing really to it at all. But supposedly, the guy said that the car that we came over here to look at was sold. Um, Personally, I think that he probably never had it because the cars that he have, has there in his lot are all like damaged by hail. Um, they, they were junk. They were just junk. Um, they had dents in them and yeah, I don't know. Plus he was like trying to explain one car to us and he really did not know what he was talking about. and. Oh, he had ripped blue jean shorts, you know, all the red flags. When you go to a car lot and you get out and you go, okay, and you just kind of start ticking off in your mind the red flags, they had a lot of them. So anyway, we're going to check out another one and see if 
they have the car that we found online next. <laughs> all of a sudden so we drove through some of the car lots and we're actually gonna go get something to eat and try and wait for this rain to slow down or stop so that we can get out and look at cars so that is our plan right now <laughs> that's the car that they're looking at right now we got a we want to look it up on consumer report and everything and it is still pouring here even after we went and got lunch <laughs> but um, I think it's a, what, did he say what it is? A 2011. 11. 11. And it had good Hyundai. reviews online. Hyundai, Elantra. what is it? Elantra. Elantra. So we're looking at that one. They have a 7-Eleven here in Lubbock. So we are getting some Slurpees. What kind did you get? I got Coke with some cherry on top. Yum. And then I just got a cherry one regular cherry but we found some really cool cups when i was in california i was looking for these deadpool cups and we found them here california didn't have them whoops slurping ain't easy <laughs> so jay tim and um justin got one okay we're heading home okay this is justin's car It's a Honda Elantra. It needs a hubcap on this side, but we're just gonna get all four hubcaps for it. And it is a 2011 is what it is. So he is very excited. We are very, very thankful that we got a car just in the nick of time. <laughs> Answer to prayer. Okay, Justin is going to take us for a ride in his car. So come on, let's go. been in it yet all right here we go there's all kinds of people out and about tonight but Justin wants to show us his stereo right yeah. okay. what are we listening to this is post malone this is like one of those famous rappers right now okay. you feel that yeah so you like it for its stereo oh yeah <laughs> Hey T, how's the back seat? It's actually really comfortable. Yeah? Yeah, there's like two indents in the back. There's like a plastic. Okay. Here, and there's two indents for your knees, so you don't you really? have more room. Yeah. It's really nice. And this seat is my seat's back quite a ways, so yeah. um and he still has quite a bit of room back there, right? You said? Oh yeah. And the stereo's good, the air conditioner is really good. Mm -hmm. And the mileage is only eighty five thousand, so that's not bad either. Today is a slower day for us, kinda. Um, we are getting ready for the week this week and so far we have done our grocery shopping. It's nice to get that done and over with. And I will be having a video coming out on that so be watching for that. I also am washing our bedding and getting that all nice and clean and hopefully less puppy hair. <laughs> And then I had a lot of dishes to do, so I needed to wash some dishes and clear off some of the kitchen countertops. So that is the kind of things that we are doing today. Now we are going to watch Downton Abbey. Oh, I love that show. We actually had watched it years ago and we had stopped because that was during our move out here to Texas and we never got to finish a couple of the seasons so we decided to pick right back up and watch it and 
it's just so good. I could start all the way from the beginning all over again. If you haven't watched Downton Abbey, you really should. It is fantastic. Oh my goodness. And it, there's um, no nudity in it that I know of, that I remember even of it. It's just so good. So that is how we are spending our Sunday today. I just dropped Timothy off at his classes and now that I'm out here I am actually going to do a little bit of running my first stop is going to be CVS I have to grab a couple of prescriptions real quick hi, hi. prescription for Karina thank you thank you okay now I am headed to Walmart I actually am making Zupa soup tonight. I think it'd be a good comfort food <laughs> for starting back to school today. But I need to grab kale for that. And I also am going to grab some, I call it crusty bread. It's just some Italian bread. And we just dip that into the soup. But hopefully Walmart won't be too busy. Okay, I ended up, Justin does not like Zupa soup. And so I went in there hoping that they had just some like um, honey barbecue boneless wings. He really likes those. But of course they didn't, they didn't have hardly anything in there. I ended up finding a bigger pack of just fried chicken. So I figure he can eat on that for whatever meals he doesn't like. He's a very picky eater. So it's nice to have something like that on hand when we have meals that he is not crazy about. Okay, I am headed home and I am really hungry. So I have a few minutes to grab a bite to eat and then I have to go pick Timothy up at class. This is what I have decided to have for lunch today. It is fast and easy and I know it's gonna be good. This one is a cinnamon one, so yum, I'm starving. Oh, there's Jules drinking her water. She never fails, I'm telling ya. Hey, do you have to go potty? Do you have to go outside and go potty or no? Nah. Okay, we are going to get Timothy picking him up from his first class of the year. I cannot wait to hear what he has to say about it and how it went. Okay, we're dying to know yes. how to go. Good, um, this class is gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, the professor, he's also a musician and is actually performing at a club bar thing really? um, on a patio this Thursday night. He's a one-man band. Um, oh my and, goodness. And uh, I think he knows how to play piano, keyboard, something like that. So um, he's very, very big on no cell phones in class which I like. Yes, that's um, good. And he's like, he even uses like a flip phone. He doesn't use smartphones or anything. He's very old oh, school. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Is he, so is he an older guy? No, or? really. Like really? He's just old 40s, fashioned. 50s maybe? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> um, oh, this guy is going down the road in his Amigo. What? No, like he's in front oh, of his truck. Yeah. No, that's, that's not good. Oh, 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 oh my goodness gracious. He seriously is taking up a whole car lane. It makes a very, very big point on you being in class every single day, which, I mean, makes sense. Yeah. Okay, what class is this? Um, Intro to the Humanities, which is the art appreciation. I'm excited. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun because, again, it's art. I love anything art, so I'm, I'm going to love this. And I love looking at things very from a very technical standpoint as well. Yeah. So, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Hello, today we are taking, me and Justin are taking Timothy to class today, and then we are going to head over to Justin's college because we need to find out like where his classes and stuff are because he starts Monday, he starts school, so. Um, 
never seen the school like what it looks like that's true yeah I have it and I cannot wait to see the school I've been on the campus but a very small part of the campus so I'm pretty excited and just about for like it. a moment Tammy saying hi uh, <laughs> that is what we are doing today and today is Timmy's long class right Tim yeah he's um, gonna be in classes from about 12 30 to 4 45 so that's yeah bad. and he only has that once a week yeah. on Wednesdays so not, not too bad it'll go fast I hope okay we are here are you excited mm -hmm. Justin's excited yeah all right I'm gonna show you around um, some of the buildings what I can and we actually got free parking here on campus today because everybody you know it's a week before school starts so everybody is like going crazy here it's busy okay you ready yes okay and this is the museum by my school in this way there is a bowling alley that only costs students two dollars to bowl at and this is the PlayStation, and I have visited here m a lot of times because of all the arrests I have. Just kidding. And this is a building that was shut down because of a bad chemical spill from a science lab. And now we are walking to my building. La 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 la. Walking. Oh, oh, there's the building again that shut down. And we're walking. We'll get there eventually, ladies and gentlemen. We'll just stay here and look at this building. Oh, 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 we flashed over. Now we're walking to my building. And this is the center of the campus, and that is the business office, where I sat many hours waiting for my financial aid. It was a long process, but it was worth it in the end. We decided to walk to the center of the campus. Oh, look, there's even a buffalo on the trash cans. But right in the middle of the campus, there's this beautiful waterfall with this huge statue of a buffalo. It was a very peaceful spot of the campus. And right behind the buffalo, that is the business center again. Then we went into the building where Justin's going to be having his classes. Down at the end of that hall, there is Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, a big eatery, lots of things to choose from. There's lots of different places to sit, eat, and study. They had a store inside, like pop and chips and things you can buy there. They had another store, but it was a computer store and a post office. Now we're going up to Justin's floor where his classrooms are going to be. Both sides of the hallway are lined with beautiful artwork. Now we're just kind of trying to find which rooms are going to be his for his classes. Okay, this is the section Justin's going to be in is the art or the business section. And that's where we're at right now. Finding his classrooms. <laughs> we found one. Oh, it has two doors, two entrances. Okay, so both of his classes are in the same building, and um, I don't know how many floors are in this building, but the, his three are both four. three or four, but his are both on the same floor, which is perfect. One's at one end and one's at the other end. And then down um, below is the cafeteria, so he'll be, he has like an hour and a half in between classes. He'll be able to go down there and relax, and it's good. It's a good, a good thing for starting, right? Yeah, I think so. I think so, too. <laughs> And this is where we buy books, where most of the books cost as much, if not more, than the class itself. It's a very ridiculous monopoly, but hey, that's what it takes to get to the school. And of course, I had to go to the store. And I had to get me and Jason each a t-shirt that says Mom and Dad, because we are so proud of him being in WT this year. I wanted to buy more, but... I know I'll be back. Okay, that was a little teeny tiny piece <laughs> of the campus and we are just so excited for him that he gets to start this new chapter in his life Monday. <laughs> this 
was a busy week. We got a lot accomplished. It's exciting to bring you guys along with us as we are starting back onto a schedule in school. I'm sure a lot of you are starting into school and getting back on schedule too. Thank you so much for hanging around with us this week. Have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.